The first time tonight we are learning more about the Las Vegas gunman from a lawsuit he filed years ago. And there are new revelations about the timeline of what exactly happened outside Mandalay Bay last week. KKLINE's Rachel Kim is live in the newsroom at this hour with those new developments. Rachel? Well, Jeff, the biggest question remains why? But investigators said today they're still talking to Stephen Paddock's girlfriend and his brother to figure out a motive. Another significant development in the investigation a change to the timeline of the massacre. Las Vegas Sheriff Joseph Lombardo said today that the shooter, Stephen Paddock, shot a hotel security guard more than five minutes before the assault on concert goers began. He was uh, injured prior to the, the mass volley of shooting. Previously, the security guard was credited with stopping the 10 minute assault by turning Paddock's attention to him in the hotel hallway. But now that they know the security guard was shot before the attack, investigators don't know why Paddock stopped shooting. Stephen Paddock could be seen in this 2011 incident at the Cosmopolitan Hotel, where he slipped and fell and later filed a lawsuit against that hotel. For the first time, we heard the gunman in his own words in a deposition obtained by. By CNN. Paddock said he gambled all night and slept all day, sometimes wagering up to a million dollars a night at various Nevada casinos. He took Valium for anxiety. At one point, he calls himself the biggest video poker player in the world. The 64-year-old gunman has been described as quirky and a narcissist. Officials say he meticulously planned the shooting. On 60 Minutes, these Las Vegas first responders said they were the first to arrive on the 32nd floor using the stairwell. He had screwed shut the door uh, with a piece of metal and some screws. In the stairwell? In the stairwell, going out to the hallway right by his door. Because he knew we'd be coming out that door to gain that entry into his door. So he tried to barricade it as best he could. Sheriff Lombardo said they have no evidence to show there was a second shooter. We have no evidence or intelligence that the suspect was linked or had affiliation with any known terrorist groups or ideologies. The sheriff also said they've uncovered over 200 instances of Paddock's travels through Las Vegas, and he was not with anyone in any of them. Elsa, back to you. Rachel Kim reporting live in the newsroom. The